singer-songwriter Essie is much more than what you would expect from an artist from the stomping ground of acoustic folk. Her vocals have an old soulful tone while encompasses her youthful outlook on life. Happy in her own skin, her songs shine even in the darkest rooms. Originally from Western Australia, Essie is now based on the Gold Coast and it is our pleasure to have her on the Velvet Orange Chair. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Velvet Orange Chair. I'm here with the artist Essie. How are you going? I'm fine, thanks. Yeah, that's great. So tell us about your music. You um, just come all the way from Perth, which is, it's a long way, hey. It's like traveling yeah. to another country when you... Yeah, it's about hmm. oh, five hours on plane. Because we are, we're, we're, at the, we're on the Gold Coast, so that's pretty far away. Yeah, it was, it was a pretty big move. I just moved here this year to yeah. study at um, Griffith at the Queensland Conservatorium. So um, yeah. it was a pretty big decision. I didn't know anyone when I moved here, but... It's a I big just, step of faith, eh? Yeah. So to, I just felt like it was the right place to be and with my music. And yeah. If I wanted my music to take off, I had to take chances, so yeah. I might as well start now. Yeah, that's right. And how old are you? I'm 18. 18. So yeah. just fresh from high school going to study a degree yeah. in music. Yeah. Wow. Your style of music, what did you grow up with in Western Australia? Well, I sort of, the first um, about eight years of my life were bouncing between... Um, mm. The UK where I was born and, um, born and, in the UK. and Australia. Yeah. So I guess more British influences thanks to my parents. Yeah, yeah. But um, I don't know, I think standout, mum had a bit of a soft spot for country. Like the country music. music bit of, oh, yeah. yeah. Old school country. <laughs> it's just <laughs> nice music. Grass, yeah. But, um, yeah. but um, I guess whatever was around at the time, you know, everyone goes through their spy skills phase and oh, that kind yeah. of stuff. But dad, um, really influenced me um, in terms of listening to U2 and that's, that's probably oh, my favourite right. band just because I've grown up with their music and it still just really reaches yeah, me. Yeah, wow. So were your parents musicians? Um, my dad mm. always played guitar and all my family sing and yeah. mum's played various instruments um, over the years and my brother and sister both sing so we've always grown yeah. up singing along yeah. in the car and things like that. Um, Kumbaya. But then, <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Now, do they so, sing that these days now? No, no, not really. What's the new thing? It's like I don't know. For us, it was mm. Don Spencer animal tapes about <laughs> different animals when we were yeah. growing up in Australia. But um, <laughs> yeah. Great. Um, so yeah, I guess I had I had a pretty good musical upbringing, but I was the only one that really went. I want to do this. Yeah. I want to do All this right. yeah. forever, and I don't want to. So <laughs> do it's, anything it's been else. a really strong conviction. Music has just yeah, I been think powerful in your life. I'm, I started songwriting. I think I wrote my first song in like year four, and it was absolutely terrible. But I just loved the fact yeah, that yeah. you know, one, uh, once I started learning guitar, which I begged my parents to let me um, learn. Mm. After that, I just fell in love with it and thought if I can sing and play yeah. at the same time I'll be like those people on TV and yeah that's awesome and that's all I ever want to do and that's that kind great. of stuck with me through high school and through yeah through all that though as you get older people start to go like ah let's yeah. be realistic now. yeah well that's the thing the, when you get into the music area it's like yeah. that's where you when you turn 18 it's like oh do I want to do this because it's yeah. a hard road yeah. to be a musician here in Australia yeah. But you can do it, hey? Yeah. You can do it. Just gotta stick with your guns. Is that the right thing to say? Okay. Uh, stick with it. Yeah. Like a sticky tape. Stick it into a wall. It's <laughs> great. So tell us, uh, any, uh, are you gonna be a solo artist? Are you looking here right now to start a band? Are you looking for a band? I'm or? sort of. Uh, I don't really mind either way. At yeah. the moment, I've just want to play I've music. I've got a lot of yeah. stuff that I've already written myself, but I'm more than um, up for starting a band or anything. It's just who's yeah. around, who's keen, you know. That's at the great. moment, I've just been a solo artist and getting friends to um, yeah. to do the back play, play along. Yeah. yeah, that's great. Looking forward, hey. Yeah. Going to be releasing EPs soon, um, hey. I think the goal is to release an EP next yeah. year and just have great. a series of build up and get stuff together, really. And, yeah. Cool. Well, uh, you'll perform a song for us, hey? Yeah. Cool. What song will you perform? Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play a new song of mine. Woo! So it's well, it's relatively new this year. So yeah, yeah looking forward um, to playing it. Yeah. And yeah, I'm. Website, Facebook. Yeah, I'm on Facebook. Mm. www.facebook.com. 
facebook.com forward slash se all capitals um www.music or dot music yeah yeah we'll put it up hey yeah. yeah so people can find you on facebook too yep pretty much and on the facebook there's links to soundcloud and soundcloud so you got myspace stuff. and stuff that's got music all over it awesome so, yeah. we're gonna look forward to your performance um that's se everyone and that's the episode for the velvet orange chair see you later Take away all of your pain So you'd be the dreamer and I'd be wide awake And if I could steal the sight off of your lips Bring back the day was so much easier than this but I am only what you see and it's so much bigger than me so let's turn